okay? So what we're gonna do for this part is we're gonna have you stand up. We're trying to warm her off. Justine's gonna help wrap the gown around your waist and also my nose and inside, okay? So when I do my measurements, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna feel for where it's called external notch. We're gonna feel that. We're gonna take that all the way straight. Straight down. And everybody has a little bit of a tilt in it. You got a little bit, no big deal. I'm measuring what's called your inframammary fold or the fold below your breast. Now you know you have some differences and that's okay. The left is a little bit is a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. folds a little deeper, the right's a little bit less. Yeah. It's gonna be you, but we'll make it fuller and as nice as we can. And then I'll give you as much symmetry as possible. That sound good? How, why did you decide to come to me? Um, I googled you, uh -huh. but then I definitely looked at all of your work and uh -huh. your quality is amazing. Thank you. And your reviews and yeah, just um, compared to even places I've looked across the world, mm -hmm. you def you're definitely Black. someone who uh, someone who's uh, attention to detail, like you definitely. Absolutely, I want it to be perfect. Now we're gonna measure how much your nipples move when we put the implants in. To do that, I want you to give me a Y like this. Perfect, yeah, that's cool. I like this thing right here. Okay, so right there, it's okay. Make sure you're breathing so you don't faint. Now I'm gonna connect this. And you can see that the left nipple is moving a little bit higher than the, than the right, and we're gonna accommodate for the best we can. Okay, relax for me. Remember? Now I need to measure how much am I gonna drop the fold. The implant, based on the implant's dimensions, I'm gonna drop it about 5.4 centimeters. So I'm gonna measure that number. We're gonna be close, but we're gonna be a little bit different on each side. Give me that Y one more time. Now I'm gonna measure how much I'll make the incisions. I'm gonna go approximately five centimeters. I'm gonna measure the width of the, of the where I'm gonna put the implants. I'll do my best to give you as much cleavage as possible, okay? okay. Now I'm gonna draw the shadow of the implant. or extend the pocket. Awesome. So now I'll go to the other side while I'm working on this side. <laughs> this is not just about us getting known or anything like that. This is about helping patients, understanding surgery. What's the cardiac? Cardiac 20. Okay. Nine. Across the board. Okay. Cardiac 
And I'm using a monopolar pottery for my deflection. This is called an Army Navy. This red here, this is the pectoralis major muscle. That's what we're trying to identify. Now I'm going to go under the muscle. Before I do that, I just stop all the little bleeding blood vessels. Okay. Now I'm going to take an Alice force up, and Janelle's going to hold the muscle for me. I'm going to grab. She's holding the skin back. I'm going to grab the muscle with the Alice. And you can see this is why the patient needs anesthesia because these maneuvers, the patients awake, they're not really possible to do. Now, below the muscle, on, I'm going to put my numbing solution to help create the pocket, decrease bleeding and bruising. Oh. Now, I also put some anti-pain medicine in this, uh -huh. and that decreases the patient's post-operative pain. Okay? I'm going to wait 30 seconds. Uh, again. Off. Oh. Let that sit there. All right, now we are going to go underneath the muscle. So I have the muscle grasp, and we're going to go underneath here with our special curved scissors, like that. Now I'm going to open the pocket gently with my finger. I can feel I'm right above her ribs, and I'm opening up the submuscular pocket. Okay, now I'm going to take the palm suction first. That's good. Ah, uh, very nice enough. Off. Cautery. Now I'm going to gently open the muscle with my monopolar cautery. It is. Now we're going to release it immediately or in the middle. Now we have to make sure we create cleavage for her. Tommy, suction. Now we're going to release up to the attachment of the muscle. But we got to leave the muscle intact, otherwise, we get a unit boot. Yeah. See, all the way, as much cleavage as I can give to my line there, even BI, if I can get a little bit more. Arm. Okay, like that. Spin up a little bit more. Okay. Suction. I'm going to uh, free up a little bit more of the muscle so I get a nice dropping in the middle and get maximal cleavage. Now we're irrigating, making sure there's no bleeding. Suction. Suction same time. On. And you can see the fluid coming out clear, which means there's no bleeding, right, you know?
and here we've identified a pectoralis major muscle. We went through subskin, subcutaneous flat, breast gland, and now this is the, the red fiber that we're seeing is a pectoralis major muscle that we're identifying. And this I think the breast gland off the muscle for so space to, I have space to see, identify the muscle and release it. And now we're going to put our numbing solution underneath the muscle. Now we're going to go underneath the muscle. Now we're going to dissect our pocket and sweep the top of the wrist underneath the muscle. See there's very minimal bleeding because of our technique. Now we're gonna put some messes in there. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Now we're gonna release the muscle. We're releasing the muscle now. Okay, now we're going to load the implant in our funnel. We're using a minimal touch technique. Now we have to position the implant so that marker is lined up perfectly. So um, Janelle is in position to retract. Then I'm going to put the implant in there with the guidance of the funnel. See that marker is perfectly lined up. That's what you have to do with these cases. Now we finish our final dissection. Just like that. Make sure it's implant sitting properly. And just the implant. Look at that other side one time. So we 
take multiple pictures to make sure we have the best view and everything looks good. Now we're going to check the upper pole and make we have it even. See that, see that the uh, left one's still a little bit higher. That's just her anatomy. She has more tissue there. That's perfect. It's a wild success. <laughs>